Someone bump off your client already? Mo Sharp stood in the middle of my office, wearing a trench coat and a fedora. One thing about Mo, he was a snappy dresser. I wondered where he got his wardrobe. Did ghosts have closets? I suppose you could say that. How did you know? Mo pointed to the window, which was cracked open. He'd overheard my conversation with Connie. You think he chiseled someone? Mo asked. Chiseled? Yeah, you know, con, swindled. Maybe he was into something and got chilled off because he crossed someone, Mo said. I thought about that for a second. Bud hadn't seemed like the kind of guy that was swindling anyone. I don't think so. Mo tilted his head. Well, how was he offed? Chopper squad? Huh? Mo often forgot that I didn't understand Seamus speak. Detective lingo had moved on since 1948, and communicating with him could be a bit challenging at times. Yeah, you know, a bunch of goons come in with guns, and he mimed shooting up the place with a machine gun. No, people don't really do that these days. They don't. Shame. It used to be a great way to get rid of a lot of enemies at once. Mo said. Well, was it a Harlem sunset? Mo, could you use English? I don't know what these words mean. Mo flapped his hands in exasperation. Knife. Was he killed with a knife? No. Okay, I give. How was the guy killed? Pitchfork. Mo let out a low whistle. That's a new one on me. What a way to go.